All right, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a uh, new start of the year. January 1st, 2025 is the date. Goodness. Wednesday, about 10.34 a.m. here. California time. Latest activity on the globe shows a, uh, a little earthquake, a 1.2 into California. A little bit of larger movement down south here around the South Sandwich Trench. Earlier, the, earlier this morning with a 6.1. Uh, we'll get to that here in just a minute. I want to cover space weather activity because we have a uh, a severe G4 solar storm in progress right now. Things are uh, uh, amplified quite nicely across the uh, the uh, Aurora desk so far today. Seeing quite a bit of uh, KP index here ramping up to the G4 category up to uh, looks like almost uh, about an 8 or so on the KP index. Still consisting now. This is from yesterday, so I don't, I don't know what's going on with the Aurora Oval forecast here, but even the direct link to that page is uh, from the Space Weather Prediction Center is not working, so I don't know what's going on here. Even on a, a different space weather, it's called spaceweatherlive.com, another space uh, website is not uh, updating either. But with the conditions here, the elevated... Uh, density and speed and well the BZ component there's a little tight but we're still looking at the potential of seeing uh, some decent Aurora activity out there with that high of a level as far as the KP index being up around the 8 range that's just below the highest category which is a 9 uh, we got cloudy skies out here in Northern California so probably not going to be able to see them here even if it was dark uh, but uh, we'll expect that to kick up or maybe uh, remain overnight here so for wednesday night if you got uh clear skies out there might want to go outside and see uh, again this is uh this uh, this is based on the kp index of five but we're well above that so and then of course the aurora forecast here but don't know what's going on but it's offline and uh, probably not going to get fixed here until after the new year Probably tomorrow sometime, I'm guessing, due to the, the holiday activity. But right here, current conditions of the geomagnetic activity showing that uh, the sub-auroral line here as a major storm. So unfortunately, right now, it's uh, still light out here on this area of the planet. As far as any uh, major flaring goes, looks like a little sea flare kicking up right now. Nothing big overnight. Uh, that C flare, C 8.6, is coming off a of far side sunspot there, western limb. Uh, these areas are just about ready to be uh, out of sight, out of mind. We're still lef left with a, uh, a number of sunspots out here. Been watching this area, although it's been quiet, still an area that, that needs to be watched here for some uh, flaring. Uh, overall flare ch uh, flare threat looks like it's dropped a little bit here to about 10%. In flare at 80%, C flare around 99%. And again, a G4 storming conditions out there being observed right now. So uh, if you got dark, clear skies, you'll definitely want to look to the north here, maybe even overhead for the aurora activity today and tonight. Far as uh, earthquake activity goes, let's go ahead and check this out for the new year. Of course, new year, uh, new earthquake numbers. And it uh, looks like we've started off this year with a six-pointer. About 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock this morning, my time, local time here in California. 6.1 earthquake coming into the South Sandwich Trench. About 51 miles deep here into this area of the subduction zone. A little uh, little bit of activity. 4.7 looks like a couple hours prior to that 6-pointer. This one was a little bit deeper than previous. Uh, so that deeper activity obviously adding strain up here in the area that uh, looks like it's already strained because of that six-pointer coming in. But just enough there. 82 miles deep for this one. The uh, previous or following one, the six-pointer was 51 miles uh, deep here. So things are, you know, watch that little area. Looks like things are quite active there. As uh, far as California goes or the West Coast in general, Let's go ahead and start up here. Look at that. Another Cascadia earthquake up here. That was uh, late last night. 2.3. 15 miles deep or so into the subduction zone of the Cascadia. That makes, uh, I think we had another one here. Just 
a day or so ago, a little bit deeper, noticing a, a little trend of elevated activity out here across the Gorda Ridges. Um, and we've got that uh, movement here today and a couple days ago there at, at the Cascadia. So interesting activity. Still watching that. I don't know if 2025 is going to bring in the big nine-pointer out here that uh, is in the forecast. But the forecast consists of many years. It could be today. It could be in the next 100 years or so as far as a full rupture goes. Uh, Montana area. Latest one looks like a 3.1 up here around the uh, Big Belt Mountains. Across the northern end near Helena Valley about nine miles deep or so outside of Yellowstone but I'm sure that earthquake showed up there quite nicely on Yellowstone the seismograph so let me go over here and check that out real quick I uh, hope everyone survived the, the new year out there goodness it's a lot of fireworks going off seemed like of course out here on the west coast it came in at nine o'clock ten o'clock and 11 o'clock and then eventually 12 o'clock. I just heard fireworks for about four hours out here in California. My dog did not like that one bit. But uh, I was out there most of the night there helping him. Um, helping him to uh, not get all nervous from the fireworks. Uh, earthquake activity here. I was looking for that three-pointer. Looks like it may be some of this activity over here. But uh, nothing major going on there for Yellowstone activity. A little small spike of an earthquake right here, localized. Uh, that earthquake did show up on a number of stations out here, but there's really nothing big going on there for now. Uh, USGS not reporting that localized earthquake, but they are reporting the uh, somewhat bigger quakes over here around Idaho and Montana. Uh, as far as the Cascadia goes, there's that two-pointer. Keep an eye on that. We'll check Trimmer a little bit later on this evening, see if things are amplifying out here. Uh, one earthquake from last night as well into the uh, Blanco Fracture Zone. Northern California, pretty quiet out here, aside from the Clear Lake Volcanic Field, Bay Area, San Francisco, nothing being reported. It is a holiday, so a lot of these smaller quakes that are somewhat normally on the map are, looks like they're missing just because of the... Uh, I don't know, but whenever the USGS is out of office, the smaller quakes don't get added here in certain regions for some reason. Uh, Southern California, a handful of spotty earthquakes. A little bit of swarming going on down here across the Imperial Fault. Also up north here along the San Andreas Fault, 2.7. That uh, is right off the, uh, goodness, that's just right off the southern branch here of the San Andreas Fault. Potentially, maybe on it. Uh, either way, that's not in an area where we want to see earthquake activity because even a even a little two-pointer like that could trigger, uh, you know, a domino effect here and unleash th that uh, that built-up strain here along this plate boundary. It's been over 300 years uh, since a full rupture of the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault, specifically this segment down here. So, got a uh, little little interesting activity on that this morning uh, following that 2.7 looks like uh, well, movement shifted back down south here around that swarming area of the Imperial Fault let's see what we got for total tally here around this area got about 24 earthquakes of uh, various magnitudes a couple twos up there a lot above 2.5 as well four of them above 2.5 so things quite active specifically down here we got to watch for the migration again that's right on or right off the Sa san andreas fault the southern segment anything uh, you know anything could trigger that because it's so wound tight right now it's uh don't want to see activity right there 1.1 lake elsinore area so, so uh, definitely ringing in the new year out here in Southern California, a little bit more active than uh, the end of 2024. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, Los Angeles area, a handful of earthquakes up here across various fault systems off the Malibu Coast Fault as well. Got uh, some earthquake activity just about 1 o'clock in the morning, 1.5, 1.4. So things in Southern Cal elevated, specifically 
right here around the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. Of course, Nevada is still seeing some movement out there. A bunch of swarming out here in the last couple months across western Nevada. A sign of uh, strain. 2025 might be the year there where we see a big one down in SoCal. You just never know. It could happen tonight. Uh, Texas oil fields out there still getting hit with the earthquake activity. A couple threes in there as well outside of Pecos, Texas and Midland. New Madrid seismic zone. Pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on there for now. Uh, in the last couple days, things have somewhat calmed down. Uh, of course, in the last couple months, we've seen somewhat of a swarm out there, but uh, things are tapering off there for now. A little earthquake up north here around the New York State area. That's from yesterday, a little 2.4. Uh, aside from that, let's see what we got here on the earthquake 3D globe. Anything major going on? Ethiopia still uh, well, looks like they got a little bit more earthquake activity out there. The latest uh, 4.9 out here in the Great Valley Rift Zone. Been an area of interest here with a uh, Oh, a good handful, maybe a couple handfuls of earthquakes out there of, of decent magnitudes, 43 of them, uh, all above 4.5. Uh, 4 so something's brewing out there, whether it's volcanic activity or um, otherwise, we'll have to watch that. Uh, let's see here, 5.1 now. Coming into the seismograph stations out in the southeastern area of the Pacific Ocean. That in itself right here on that plate boundary, that's going to be the um, Antarctica plate and the Nazca plate right about here is where that earthquake struck. Let me double check, make sure. Yeah, so that's Antarctica, uh, Nazca plate. Eh, close to the chilly fracture zone. Most of the time when we see activity out here, that's uh, going to amplify conditions out across the South America area in terms of the Peru Chile Trench. So we'll watch that uh, region here for a potential uptick. Uh, Chile in general there and the Peru Chile Trench. A couple earthquakes from yesterday. Uh, a bunch of little ones in there as well, but things could uh, stir up. Looks like a lot of the activity shifting down here on the southern end of the globe. Another 2.0 coming into the uh, Texas area, looks like. Uh, New Zealand, wow, got a 4.4 there off the uh, plate boundary. Somewhat deep, well, let's see, uh, about 65 kilometers deep there off the uh, area of New Zealand. I'm going to check that real quick, see what we got. Check out the GeoNet server, see what's going on here. This, uh, New Year's. Okay, they're reporting that as a 4.5 about two hours ago. Um, again, that's out there off the uh, off the plate boundary. 24 reports of uh, some folks filling it. South Island area, obviously down here. Let's see here. It looks like there's another earthquake there from yesterday. That's going to be, uh, I don't remember which one it was, but definitely quite active down there. Across the area of New Zealand right now. There's a 4.5 showing up there in the last couple hours. So who knows? 2025 could definitely be an active year across many, many areas out here. Pretty good clustering going on here across the area of the Solomon Sea northward. And to Papua New Guinea, it looks like things starting to maybe point towards something larger happening out here itself. We we'll keep an eye on it for sure. The Curl Cam Chat Trench up here late last night, a little 4.6, about 58 miles deep there into that area of the subduction zone. So uh, quite active. I mean, kind of welcoming in the new year there with a six-pointer down in the South Sandwich Trench, but... Things are just getting fired up, it looks like. Uh, let's see. Pretty quiet there across the Mediterranean area and the Middle East region. Just some older activity there from yesterday. Uh, 
All right, quick glance here at the uh, Big Island of Hawaii and the latest on the ongoing activity there as far as the uh, eruption goes. Still sitting at an orange and watch for the Kilauea volcano. That tells me that uh, things are still still happening out there across the area of the crater wall. That's the latest image here. Uh, 0831 Hawaii time, 81 degrees up there. We still have an eruption ongoing across this little area of the Kilauea Volcano Lava Lake area right against the sidewall. So nothing changed in that respect. Just kind of adding some more volume of uh, material there in the Lava Lake. There's the eruption back over here. Of course, Lava Field limited there to that uh, crater area. Eventually, this is going to fill up and then uh, maybe spill over. In due time. All right, folks. Um, we'll keep an eye on things here. See, see what stirs up. Look at China Lake down there. That's near the Ridgecrest area of Southern Cal. A little spiky activity. It's just an interesting earthquake right there. That two point seven. We'll watch it and, uh, of course, report back on anything that changes out there. Uh, nothing really in terms of severe weather outlook right now. So things are just kind of quiet across that board. Uh, a little bit of rain there for the Oregon, Northern California area. Looks like this weekend here we got a little bit bigger storm system coming in. Well, towards the end of the week, I should say. Uh, some rain before things start to... Uh, change out here a little bit we got a lot of colder air coming down from the north and uh, we're going to be talking about a lot of ice and snow down in the, the south that includes texas down there as well so it's going to be a an interesting scenario and i'm sure it's got severe weather potential as well and it looks to continue for a little while uh, california though on the west coast in general going to dry up after this uh end of the week storm system so that's kind of a bummer but hopefully we get a return of wet weather after after the pattern does a uh, a flip-flop here eventually all right guys have a good one stay safe and just a you know friendly reminder there to download if you're out here in california uh, i believe it's for oregon and washington as well uh, you want to download the my shake app it's called my shake and uh, it's free for your uh, cell phone your device there that you use for your mobile that uh, last couple earthquakes out here in northern california it's given me a 20 second warning before i started to feel uh, the shaking or rolling motion from the earthquakes out here from that seven pointer and then also uh, the 5.7 that struck in nevada i was up here um away from my home area during that 5.7 and that gave me a 20 second notice as well so it's called my shake it's an early alert notification system in regards to earthquake activity that way yeah you know if there's a big earthquake out there at least gives you a little time to maybe gather your thoughts or get somewhere safe uh you know just in case it's a really big earthquake and it's uh, the thing is it's free free of charge so make sure you download that if you're out here in california oregon and washington uh that's from the uh, my shake app all right folks i'm out of here have yourself a wonderful wednesday happy new year's to everyone out there still hearing some fireworks out in my neck of the woods even in the daytime here um so but uh, all is well hope everyone else is well as well <laughs> there's a lot of wells there all right, have a good one. We'll catch you guys out here a little bit later on this evening. Take care.